Good night, beautiful people. It's the general tonight with another vlog for you guys. I know it's been a while, but um, nothing is wrong. Though guys, we're still giving you guys a vlog tonight. Um, I came in and uh, just looking around and seeing what's going on. So I figure I maybe should talk about, you know, what I'm watching and what I've been hearing. Yeah. First and foremost, guys, before I start my vlog, I would like to say thank you to most, uh, to all the beautiful people that um, that reach out to my um, to Kali, my my granddaughter. Yes, she she had a race this weekend, guys, and um, it, it was successful. That's her first race. And guys, I'm proud of her. Very, very, very proud of her. Yeah, man. Proud of her. Bad, bad, bad. Yes. So, you guys really reached out um, to her. I know Kali have our little fan base uh, because she's been around on my channel from, from day one. Kali is growing on the channel. But uh, whenever she comes through, if I'm vlogging, I normally, you know, give her, um, she, she always asks to come on the, the vlog as well. Grandpa, can I vlog with you? Which was always a yes. I, I, I don't refuse Kali. Kali is uh, cemented herself on, on, on my platform. But guys, she ran today, um, Saturday. I was supposed to be there, I was heading there but I chose to stop and make a video, which guys, I'm telling you that didn't work out because I didn't get a chance to reach there. Mm -hmm. But I wanna big up all of you guys, all the love that you showed us, her and myself, um, grandpa, you know? And guys, believe in me, I'm a grandfather of many, not just Kali, sorry. Yes, yes, guys. Um, I'm a grandpa of many, 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 many. So, at the end of the day, beautiful people, um, the general just want to say thank you for reaching out to Kali um, on her first race. And uh, I think she'll have many more races to come, guys. She, she's gonna win some. She's very, very, very talented. She's really fast. I, I can't say she took it from me because I was I was a sprinter myself. Yeah. But um it would be nice if she follow in grandpa's footsteps and go even further than I did. I got injured. So I I didn't get a chance to finish my track career in Jamaica. But I'm gonna thank you guys overwhelmingly for supporting um, Kali and winning her first race. Um, uh, of, a matter of fact, she never ran before. That is her first time she ever ran. But I took her to the track the day before and I gave her some pointers, you know? I really want to show you guys that video, but because I showed this one before, I don't know if I should. But let me know in the comment if you wanna see um the general and his granddaughter Kali um training before her race but guys today I can't say um Christmas list um is heading back to Canada um it's a congratulation you know and he must be elated after being in, in Trinidad for maybe two months or, you know, almost two months or two months and more. 
to be heading back to Canada to his family is um is is nice. It, guys, it it is nice. I've been down that road, so I actually know how that feels. Um, to be returning to your family after being um, I wouldn't say I was not abroad. I was in my homeland. I was in Jamaica. You know, I got locked up in Jamaica to uh, you know. That would be a story. That would be something I'd have to take a whole, a whole maybe two hours to tell you guys, you know. But I've been down that road before in my younger days, you know, and my early 20s, you know. So, guys, we're bringing home my Christmas list. Um, I guess he's going to stop off in Miami first, pick up his car, he says. And um, it's a good drive from Miami to to Canada guys at least I would say seven eight hours I've never done it but I've I've known people that does that that drive yeah it's a it's a pretty long drive and it must be scenic as well because back in my time I used to drive from Canada to to New York and I wish I was doing that now as a youtuber you know so yes I, I'm not allowed to go to America yeah just to show you guys, I'm not, I'm not far from Christmas list, yeah? And maybe Christmas list I've maybe not even done, I've gone through what the general has been through. Mm. Not even a fraction. But guys, Christmas list is heading home. And that's a beautiful thing, yeah? Gonna get to see his family, whatever comes his way. He's gonna have to deal with that, yeah. Um, I guess he still haven't done with uh, with Trinidad because they need him. He's gotta have to go back. Trinidad, and I've I said Trinidad. I have my my Trinidadian flag, you know, guys. Hold on. Yeah, man, my flag is here, guys. I'm not disrespecting the thing. Yeah, I love Trinidad. I always did because I have a lot of friends before Christmas list I have Trinidadian friends in Canada yeah I have them at my workplace and I have them out play soccer and all those things so don't get it twisted guys this is not just I'm doing this because a Christmas list no I do have my <laughs> my Trinidadian friend and I love you guys yeah Love what you guys doing for the general. When you're doing wonders for the general. And the general truly, truly appreciate you guys. Yeah, man. Really, really appreciate you guys. Yeah. So, last but not least, guys. We finished the general. We finished talking about Christmas list. And now we're going to talk about the Coco. Guys, we have to talk about Coco Girl. People might seem like I continuously, yes. She's making content. So if she's making content, why cannot we make content? Yeah. Now, Coco Girl is still in, in the UK. In London to be specific London England traveling and um, her gold I guess this trip which is most of her trips them is to find homeless people and guys black homeless people so if you look at what Coco girl is doing showcasing the worst of our afro um, um american people afro canadian afro jamaican all the african the black people coco girl is trying to showcase the worst of us guys that's what she putting out there the worst that we, 
black people have or look like can you imagine can you imagine guys there's not just black people there's not just you know the black people that's there yeah it's not just poor black people you understand but yet still coco girl is looking for the worst black people to put on her platform. I know most of her, her, her fans or her, her followers are on her platform doesn't see it like that. But as soon as the general put something out there I'm clothing, I'm looking cloth, I'm looking content. Yeah? But this girl is showcasing the worst of our kind. And she's getting embraced. Yeah, man. The worst of our kind. And you guys have nothing to say. No. In order for her to. Because she couldn't find no homeless people. Beautiful people. So what did the coca do? So she's going to make herself homeless. She's going to make herself homeless for the night. I don't know she's gonna do it for a night or for a day or for you know. But because she cannot find black homeless people or Jamaican homeless in London, England, Coco Girl is going homeless herself. Guys, that to me that is to me that is just sickening. It's I think this girl is obsessed with showcasing the worst. The worst of our people and she she does it over and over and over guys yeah and i i speak about it i try i talk about coco girl anytime i call her out on these things guys but then the general is the bad one black and she's not satisfied with the, the homeless you know She's still not satisfied and she wants to see the black homeless people, especially, and she's been specific, she wants to find the Jamaicans. What is this about us Jamaican? Are the poor part of Jamaica, are the poor Jamaican that this girl is so fascinated by? I don't think it's fat fascination in our guys. I think it's suppression. She's just suppressing us. She's showing us, us, putting us out there in a very diplomatic way. Come on, man. Who does that? Show the worst of a nation. A small nation like Jamaica, 2.8 million people. And when it's not Christmas list, trying to find gangsters, Coco Girl trying to find gangsters, Coco Boy, down in our island, and you guys embrace her, and me, a Jamaican living in Canada, that's seeing these things and seeing it as. It's disgraceful to us. If somebody can just go around trying to find the worst of your people or worst of your kind and you guys sit on their platform and embrace her, love her, cuss me, cuss any other and have her just 
doing us bad. And I'm, I'm not standing up. I, there's not much I can do. I can use my platform. How much can I use my platform, guys? If I don't even get the assistance from you guys. How much? How much? How longer can I speak if you guys going to come on and, and don't see it how we see it. But you guys see me now as a reactor just talking about what Coco Girl is doing. Yeah, but you guys don't see Coco Girl parading. Showing your island, the same island where you guys live in, in Jamaica. No, I live in Canada. And it bothers me. But also because I know how you guys are. Jamaicans, the one that just want to see how they see things. Um, once them say Coco Girl, they see nothing else. I guess it's the same thing with me. Once I see Mara, I don't, I, I, I just see Mara. You know, but then there's not a lot of people that suppressing a lot of vloggers that goes to Jamaica to suppress Jamaica. Yeah, but you guys embrace the cocoa. Yeah, man, I wanna embrace the cocoa with all the things that she's doing. Looking for black homeless people, very poor homeless people, Jamaican homeless people. It's like if you don't come from Jamaica, she don't want nothing for real to do with you. You must be from Jamaica, black and poor. Ugly. Yeah. That's how me look on it. And the next thing, guys, you see that lady, that, that homeless lady that she found, that black lady. That's who she's parading on her channel right now. Walking up and down with that lady, that one person that she could have found. That maybe she can say, yeah, man, okay, I'm ready for, for, for discriminate them. So she using that black woman. I would say she, she yeah, she look, she look really homeless. Yeah, but Coco Girl is working with that. That's what Coco Girl is working with. Yeah, man. But it's it's very, very, very hard to see how one person or two person or three person doing the same thing, that same affiliation Christmas list, Coco Boy, Coco Girl. Yeah, man. Those people are doing the exact same thing. Mm hmm. So, guys, Coco Girl again is on the rise. Looking to suppress us, looking to suppress our people. And guys, you guys gonna sit and let her do all of that. I'm asking you guys, please, please. I know you guys gonna comment. Yeah, man. I know you guys. I, I need, I need to see why you guys think it's okay because I know you're gonna get at me. I know you guys gonna come at me. But for all you beautiful people that see that what she's doing is wrong. All the beautiful people on my on, on my platform that knows that Coco Girl is wrong. Yeah? And Coco Boy for parading our less fortunate. Yeah? Guys, I'm asking you to put a stance to it, man. Come with the general and put a stand to this. Because we have to, if somebody doesn't do it, I do it. I have a platform. I'm showing that I don't like it. 
but yet I'm getting attacked for doing that. Mm-hmm. So one Christmas list is heading home. Which guys will have to say yes. Thanks for that. Bless. Chris mostly is finally going home. And guys, um, you might hear me sniffing it. I do. I do have a. I I think I have the the flu, the cold or something. That's why I'm drinking my water. But I might sound like that. I'm I'm honored over that, guys. Every time it is. The, the weather is up and down. It's raining. One time it's very hot. The next time it's cold. Sorry. And um, if, if you're in it, this is what's going to happen. Do you know? Canada is always like that. Mm -hmm. But I thank you guys for everything. You guys have uh, treated me properly. Like if I could have danced, guys, I would have danced. Because you guys really, really, really held me down. Um, the Jamaicans. I have a lot of nice Jamaicans on my channel too. Big up yourself, Sharon. Sharon Johnson. Yeah. Um... Guys, the Trinidadian people that's new to my channel, like I honestly don't know, I don't know what to say or how to, to thank you guys for holding down the general. And um, not like you guys came, most of you guys stay, you know? It's just for me to, to make content for you guys now. To enjoy uh, the channel but um, tell a friend to tell a friend about it's underscore the general from Toronto Canada yeah man and I'm not gonna stop saying this guys until Carabana time come back um, the Trinidadians them with the pan and the Calypso guys I think they're the best Yeah, man, when them come at Kennel, man, them nice up Caribana. Them have the Calypso thing, lock, guys. Dancing, winding up and down. Yo, the chinny them have that lock. Yes, man. And I must, guys, a compliment. I have to compliment you guys. When I know nothing, man, and Cal when it comes to the Cal I, I, I'm not sure, because I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are the best, or is noted to be the best, but from what I see, when it comes to Calypso, you know, the chin of them got that lock, bro. I'm gonna love them. Nice, beautiful woman, them. Yeah? I'm gonna say it's just island in general. I love my, my love the island people. I love my island people. Then, I gonna always send love to my island people. Then, yeah, Geronimo, big up yourself, big man. I hope you're fine. I hope you're okay. It's underscore K one. Guys, go over to our channel, guys, and support her. You know, young YouTuber coming up. Promising YouTuber, it's underscore K1. That's Donna TV. That's Donna. Guys, please. Make the notes of the general send you guys. Big up yourself, Curvy. Guys, there's a fly. Jaja. Man. It's killing me. This is my vlog, guys. This is how I want to vlog. I I want to keep my vlog natural, authentic. Just come over, speak to my people, and guys, please, if there's anything that you want, guys, want to add to my channel, please go in the comment section. 
yeah man leave a comment tell the general what you would like what you would like to see and i'm most likely trying to you know fulfill um that uh, for you guys yeah please i am fairly new to this youtube world it's been eight months since i'm on this platform and guys i think i don't know what i'm doing i am not the best on it of it um on it but you guys really hold me down makes me feel like i'm doing something promising yeah so in that saying guys there's one another thing that i want to show guys my workplace i want to show you guys that new bronco that we're building yes it's new bronco it's half a million dollar for this bronco guys see this bronco this one right here it's a beauty guys Twenty twenty four, twenty twenty five. Okay, please, guys. It's not something that everybody can afford. It's by order more than most of these cars are going to Dubai. Guys, if you don't understand, this is my workplace. See, if you look at my shirt, you're gonna always see this in my shirt. Okay, so these are some of the things that we built yeah engineer and um i'm gonna put most of these things in my garage guys because they're renovating and uh they also told us we can we can take whatever so it will literally stay stay in the in the company in the with the family the workplace family so and guys, I even took a sign. Look at this, people. This is that's my company, guys. See that? Both side. Yeah, man. So also these ones these are new too it's okay for us to bring them home i bring home this mustang here because this mustang yeah man this is authentic stuff yeah man you're not seeing these mustang man if you have one of these right now you got money yeah so as i just said guys if you don't know what i do at my work we're engineer we build these kind of cars, racing cars. We also have a racing team that race in Europe. Yeah. So I'm just saying, guys, there's no promotion. This is my garage, right? And uh, we br I brought these home because my company is doing some renovation. We're making the area bigger to bring in more people, more employed, to employ more people. So this vlog with for you tonight guys is just a simple one sharing some thoughts with the general yeah and what's going on right now presently so i'm gonna say good night good evening anywhere you are i just want to wish you guys a proper prosperous day or a proper night sleep yeah but the general love you guys um don't mind the tight tongue you know because we're just speaking right off the bat right from you know the brain so i'm asking you guys to anything you can overlook whatever is not suitable and forgive the general yeah because I know I have 